Hello, this is Eric. Uh, in this video, I'm going to explain how the ink go into the print head. This is the DS5 uh, Epson DS5 print head. And here is a damper for the print head. And as usual, the ink go into the tube from the tube to here this connection and palm into the damper with this this is a syringe uh, in every machine have a syringe you palm it like this this on uh, on this angle so the in come from the inlet and will flow to this bottom and stay here so you can pump as much as in into the damper at least two third two third the in level inside the damper at least two third to here otherwise it may uh, the in may may flow may run out during the print uh, print job so make sure the in go over Two foot, two foot. Uh, so the damper was plugged on the print head on these plugs. So I only install one one damper on the print head, and let's simulate how the uh, palm, the in palm works. Wait a second. Uh, imagine, imagine this is the palm motor, and this is the cap top. Uh, when we click, uh, when we press the cleaning. On the printer, the palm will will continuously to palm the ear from the from this tube from the in from the tubes, and the print head we install it on the carriage, and then once it go back to the capping station, the cap will push against the, the bottom of the print head. Uh, when you clean in or in filking, the palm start to work and palm the ear from the in tube, from this tube and suck the ear out of the damper. So if you found that the printer will not print anything at all. Um, after you make sure there is in inside the damper, then you you try a cleaning or infilking. And check after that you check if any in stay on the uh, on the cap top or or you see any in coming down from the cap uh, from the print head and go into go on to the cap top if nothing on the cap top then you check this check if there is a gap there is a gap between the cap top and the print head because if they don't cap if the cap top didn't cap the print head seriously if it didn't cap it properly, if it has a gap between the print head and the cap top, then the palm can on can only palm out the ear. It cannot suck the in from from the damper into the print head. So this is very important. Very important. Must make sure the in was coming through 
uh, flow down to the print head. Otherwise, loading going into the print head, then the print head can uh, cannot print anything, and that is why it cannot print anything. Make sure, make sure the cap top cap the print head. You can imagine if it if they don't touch uh, each other, no matter what you pump, it cannot pump in from here into print head. So please make sure if the cap top cap the print head seal it. Okay. Now let's go back to the machine and display uh, this whole process, this whole progress, sorry. Uh, in, in order to let you see the uh, in how, how it go to the capital, I use the in fill function. Uh, to be clear, this in fill function, do not let it, do not keep it home here. Uh, after a few seconds, a lot five seconds, you press the enter to to start it again. Do not let it uh, keep pumping. That will damage the print head. This is important. Please know that. Okay, let's start. In tube damper print head cap top, uh, the the pump to the raise in bottle. Okay. Uh, a few seconds, press stop. Okay, it's it now stop, and I can move the print, the move this whole carriage out of the captain station. You see, it pump a lot of in to the cap top. That means the the in from the tube to damper and now go through the print head and on to the cap top. So the whole uh, inking system, the in supply system is working now. Uh, after the in field, and we make sure the in go into the print head, we move it back to the to the home, the cap pin station, and then do us a, uh, a week cleaning cleaning weak both head okay uh, this is a dual head printer but the the way how it work on the single head printer uh, is the same way so please don't worry about that also uh, it, it is the same to check the in tube cap top print head oh, no no the dampers uh, print head cap top so how this video can help you figure it out uh, what is wrong on your machine uh, any further question uh, any further questions please contact me thanks